Hello learners, welcome to the studios of NIOS. I am Dr. Asha Singh from Lady Urban College. I teach about children. This is lesson 2, Early Childhood in India. Childhood in India, basic concepts, diversity, differences and similarities. So, what do you understand by why is this chapter called uh, Early Childhood in India? It's because all children don't grow up in the same manner. That's why one of the topics is differences, similarities. Why differences in, and similarities together? Because while the children are uh, growing up in different settings, their needs are the same. We are all familiar that when we talk about India, it's often said India has many, many Indias. We are all familiar with the diversities that define India. Different people speak different languages, they dress differently, they, um, you know, uh, celebrate different festivals, they uh, celebrate, um, their families are different. Some people live in big houses, some people live in small houses, but they all have a home. Now, diversity, in very big way, the major concepts of diversity are language, dress, religion, attitudes and beliefs, customs and economic differences. Now, let us just talk about languages. Let's play a little game. How many of you can think of patang, kite? You all enjoy the kite on different festivals or just, you know, as a playful game. You know, in many parts of the country, it's called guddi. In some other parts of the country, they call it by another name. Similarly for water, somewhere it's called um, tanni, somewhere it's called jol, and not even jol only. Ami jal khabo, and in many other parts of the country, they say, um, pani pina hai. So therefore, languages are different, but they are meaning the same thing. Now, in this, what we are trying to understand is, how does this diversity relate to the young child? If the young child comes to the school and only listens to one language, which is not his own language, what is he going to feel? He's not going to be able to feel comfortable in the school. So we have to know ways in which we can make the child comfortable. This is Kavita. And supposing she speaks Bengali or she speaks Ahomia and she comes to uh, a school where they are only, she's living in, say, Lucknow. And they only uh, talk in Hindi. So there must be a way in which she can feel comfortable. Uh, what are the ways? Now look at this. This is a part of the country where there are not one language but three, four languages. So what the school has done, they speak a little bit, they learn four or five words and make the child feel comfortable. That's why I said words, learn a few words and if you slip in one word or two words, the child feels comfortable. At the back, you can see three charts of alphabets which really is giving recognition to the child's language. And the child is feeling that, oh, I also am important. And that is how diversity and differences become very significant in understanding how what it does to children. Now, in these pictures, there are people dressed in different ways. One is a tribal dress, which is really interiors. And children go to school there also. They dress differently. People from other parts of the country may be dressing differently. But here, they understand that there are many, many ways to do the same thing, whether it's through the language or whether through it's uh, through dress. We could also play a game. Where is Salwar Kameez born? Where is Mundu born? Where is Pavade born? And these are all the ways in which children dress. Now, let's look about customs and culture. Now, customs are how people live, what are the rules they have in families, and how do they celebrate and do things together in a group. Um, try and guess. I'll sing one one line of different songs. And let's see if you can recognize. Any idea? 
Remember you have seen um, on films where they are doing the boat dance? So this is a song in Malayalam, in Kerala. Now let's try another one. Mari channu pacheli hatha me tambadi guti. Do you know? It's very close to Delhi, Haryana. And they are, it's about a woman. She's very happy because she's looking good and she talks about her jewelry. You've heard the famous song, which was favorite of Gandhi ji. Jodi tordakshane kuna she tabe akla chalore. Do you know it? It's Bengali. And let's see, try one more. Nisaki ai besaki, umitwa ai besaki. Besaki, nisaki, Punjab. So, how many languages? And there are many more, many more. So, by using lang songs of different languages, again, it's a way in which children get identity. And this is a dance from Kashmir. So, children could perform. Children could you know, dress up in different fancy dress. That's why they have those. That is one way of, again, connecting to people from different lands. Culture, music, dance. That is a sure way of understanding the plurality and being, you know, aware of the differences that people live in. So, there is diversity, there are differences, there are some aspects of diversity which are to be celebrated and some that you need to be alert. And there are many other differences also. Religion is one. The religious diversity in India is recognized in many ways. The religious Diversities are also, uh, you know, they display or they de present themselves in a school. Like one child came to school and uh, uh, his grandmother used to pray every morning and put a little tikka kind of a thing on his forehead. So the children in the school started laughing at him. But the teacher intervened. That's where you have to be alert as a caregiver. So this is the way children will learn about differences. And that's very, very important to learn from early childhood. Now we come to economic diversity. And that's a point where you have to be a little considerate. This is a geographic terrain where the water source is very far away. And little children are also bringing water along with the adults. But you can see if the adult is carrying four buckets, the younger children are carrying one or two. because. Access to resources is so far. Resources means uh, getting objects, getting things, getting material for everyday living. If it's so far, then much of the time goes. So where is the time to develop? Where is the time to learn different things? That is where we have to be alert, that we can help families so that children can enjoy their childhood, learning, discovering uh, about the world around them and being part of the contemporary world. Now, this is, there are many times when there are different kinds of discriminations, like in many customs or in many of the attitudes and beliefs that we talked about, it's often said that girls shouldn't be playing cricket or football or girls should not become engineers. But why? You have to have, if a girl is interested, she should have the freedom to make her own choice. Just as a boy, if he's interested, he should make his own choice if he wants a career in dance or being a theatre artist or what is really meant is that let children make their choices. Therefore, in early childhood, again, how does it relate to young children? Allow them to play with different kinds of materials. Let's avoid, let's give all that materials and objects that we have to boys and girls alike. The other kind of thing that happens is that inclusion and barrier-free environment. What does that mean? It means all people may not have fully functional skills, fully functional abilities. Sometimes there is a sort of impairment. The environment, the caregiving environment should create a welcoming environment and do a little extra for the person that needs a little more help. The person may need a little more attention, repetition, and we must be careful about that. So, what is the significance of diversity? It builds a sense of respect. It builds understanding of plurality. 
it fosters harmony. Gandhiji once said, if you want peace and harmony in the world, begin by talking to children. There could be both positive and negative influences of diversity. Positive is trying to understand that people talk in and live in many different ways. One of the things that you have to be alert, what are the negative impact? That because of lack of resources, people may not get enough food. Families may not be able to provide two square meals. And we have to be alert because in our country, malnutrition is quite rampant. And this kind of lack of resources, lack of health care, they may not have access to health care requires attention. Government does have plans um, and schemes to reach out to the poor. But as caregivers, as uh, people who understand that children need a strong foundation, we must understand that families living in economic deprivation need a little extra support. That's all that we have talked. We'll talk more in the next lesson. Thank you.